basically what most people do is they stake four corners of the beds, right? And then they string line down. And then you try to run this rotary plow along those string lines and then you go across on the other side. And what ends up happening is the string lines are always in the way and they're bouncing around because of the tractor and all that. So I came up with an idea a while back and it's worked really well for me that we just do a single string line and then we use a little, little gauge to help us. And then, so anyway, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna use some of your help if we could. We're not gonna actually measure out this, but we're gonna just say, this is like the center of where we want the bed. Like so, and then if somebody wants to unravel that and go down with the other stake and then tie that on there, you can take my knife because you can actually just cut the string. The way the rotary plow works, it's, it's basically like corkscrew and it's, it's digging into the dirt and then throwing it to one side. So we're gonna drive down the bed on one side, throw dirt, and then we're gonna turn around and go down the other side and throw dirt. So it's really simple. So this is what I came up with instead of trying to figure out like the center of your wheel and two string lines and having to move a bunch of string lines. So we built this and I've used, showed a bunch of people how to use it and they put some good use on it. So <laughs> this is one of my favorite tools on the farm, which is these cheap screwdrivers that allow you to adjust hose clamps and all sorts of stuff. So anyway, this goes right on the front and this is gonna be our gauge. And so I made a little mark on here so I know that it should go to the end of this wheel. There we go. And I did this before these axle extensions came out, but now the axle extensions, it's about the same space. So now you kind of have a marker on the, the axle extension mm -hmm. as well. But basically what it's gonna allow me to do is use this as my mark and follow that string line and then just be able to turn around and come back on one pass with only moving this for once for each bed. So it's so much faster. And, and have to stringing up with two. Yeah, stringing up with two. And, and then whenever we're making new beds, it's usually two people and we're just alternating because this starts to beat you up after a while when you're doing hundreds of beds too. So we'll, we'll alternate and then, because it's nice to have two people so you can move those stakes each time real quick. So. Yeah, it saves you a lot of transit walking back and forth. So, pretty damn good bed, right? I mean, yeah. 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 Well, so it's not perfect. It's, it's a little narrow right now. So once we do the 
the power harrow, it's gonna flatten out a little bit and then it's gonna give us our 30 inch width. But for, the, for me, this has been like such a time saver is just doing that single, and then you just keep your eye fixed on that and watching that, and then this isn't super low by the tires getting bounced around by the dirt, hitting it and stuff. It's just easy, so. And then we would just move the stake to the next spot, turn, and then just keep going all the way down.